I mean, for instance, here is a, an Irish woman in the haggard. On the way to that house, the fields and the stone fences and a fellow walking down the road with a few sheep. And then I photographed some of the thorn bushes that I've never seen before. And then I encountered this woman, young woman, in her muddy haggard. After that, I did a good landscape. I think a good landscape. Well, anyway, as I look at that, it all comes over me like a flood, you know, visual, visual flood. Tiny? Tiny? Come on. Tiny. Come on. Tiny? My name is Nora Dibbet. They call me Noni Dibbet. They shorten it by Noni Dibbet of Cortaloha Aina, County Clare. And I was Nora Dibbet Dunahoe before I married and changed to Dibbet. And I just lived across the land, a small bit, in Aina at the same time, County Clare. And only a small little bit to go. He had only a small little bit of travelling to get me. <laughs> he didn't have to travel much. <laughs> the bicycle he was up to go on. But he could walk across the land to meet me, too. <laughs> and that's my bedroom in there. That was where we sleep with 46 years in that room. Never changed. I never slept in any other room in the house, only in that. 46 years. It's a long time. <laughs> in 1954, I was here, and there was a picture taken at me, and I had my child in my arms, and my husband's mother was in front of me in the half door. When I got married, I came in here to this house, and I lived with his father and mother and himself and a brother. She lived 17 years with me. At that stage, everyone was living with old people. They had to do it. Some of them would be killing each other, be fighting, fighting, actually. Some would live happy and be all right. Myself and his mother lived great. Friends, thank God, till she died. Well, it was all right, living back where it was, as long as they had the man I married. <laughs> 